the very first thing that I want to talk to you about, or the, uh, just to get your head right into this topic, is that as a leader, any strategy that you want to execute will generally fall into one of two categories. So you can, everything that you're doing, you can think about in one of these two ways. On the left, we call this stroke of the pen. It's anything you can do because you're the boss, because you said so, stroke of the pen. On the right are those things that require a change in human behavior. Now the stroke of the pen stuff is very important. It takes brains, it takes guts, right? It's gonna have significant consequences, but it's going to happen, right? That's, that's what we know. On the right, by, by the way, people who have never been leaders before, they think that being a leader is this over here on the left. If I was in charge, I would do this, and I would do this, right? And then they get in charge, and they realize no one's listening, because there's this enormous element on the right. What are those strategies that require not only a change in behavior, but sometimes a change in habit, right? Those are the ones that really seem to make a difference, and when, when strategies break down, it's always, have you found this? It's always on the right side of this model. What's that definition? Of, of insanity. Keep doing the, you know this one? Keep doing the same thing and expecting a different result, right? Changing human behavior easy or hard. Changing your own behavior easy or hard. Changing somebody else's behavior. Changing a whole bunch of somebody else's behavior. My wife has one piece of advice she gives to, to, to her friends that are getting married. She says, honey, don't marry a fixer-upper. And I'm in the room every time I know exactly who she's talking about. Changing human behavior is hard. Every leader at some point we believe is going to hit this wall. Even when it's in people's best interest. When we show this to leaders, when we put this up, there's a general recognition that this is the hard stuff on the right hand side. But we don't hear leaders asking for help. We don't hear leaders saying, Geez, I wish I was better at this. I wish I was better at driving strategies that required a change in human behavior. What you're more likely to hear is, I wish I didn't have Antonio, Maria, and Marcus on my team. Right? The tendency is to blame the people. A great man by the name of Edwards Deming, is considered the father of the quality movement, had this statement. He said, any time the majority of people behave a particular way, the majority of the time, the people are not the problem. I want you to think about that. We think this is a very powerful leadership principle. Any time the majority of people behave a particular way, the majority of the time, the people are not the problem. The problem's in the system, and the leader has to own it. All right, so what have we said so far? Execution is harder than strategy. The kind of execution that's really hard is the kind that requires a change in human behavior and we don't get to blame the people. So far, so good? 